What's up, people? Carlton Flowers here, Color Boss Custom Model Body Shop with an update on the 1985, 1985, okay, 1989 Corvette Custom Paint Job Project. You can see it back there in the background. It's in my new pink booth with all the lights back there. Right now, I am shooting primer over the spots where I've sanded down to the SMC, which is a type of fiberglass that is injection molded that the Corvettes are made from. This is a C4 Corvette. So I put on the Bulldog adhesion promoter. Let me show you the Bulldog. This is a very, very good product. It's a little bit expensive. Just a can of it, a spray can is like 28 bucks. The big can, this is about $49. That is the Bulldog. And so what this does, it's an adhesion promoter for plastics. It basically kind of bites into the plastic, melts into it a little bit. And then when you spray your primer, your primer really sticks. So that means that when you shoot your primer and paint on, it's not going to peel off later on because it's hard for paint to stick to plastic. So this is the in-between that takes care of that problem. The Bulldog, love that stuff. So we're gonna run back here and take a quick look up close at the Corvette. And then I'm going to shoot some more primer. Then we're gonna shoot that base coat and clear coat with metal flake and then two more coats of metal or non-metal flake just straight clear to bury the metal flakes so when we go to wet sand buff and polish we'll have a glass like surface at the end let's go look up close all right coming into the new paint booth area i got my new led lights shining brightly so we can really see and you can see the kind of slick areas that are shining a little bit it looks a little wet. That is where the Bulldog adhesion promoter has already been sprayed on, just on the areas where you see black because that's down to the plastic. Everything is masked off and ready to go. I had to make this little pup tent here for the convertible top so I could get underneath it and paint the areas that when the top is down um, that it covers up those painted areas. Now, here's the part that I have already shot the primer spot primer in the areas only where the bulldog was sprayed so there we have it over on the hood everywhere that i have um sanded down to that plastic and got some of the bulldog that's where we have the primer okay so one other thing going on here this little piece is the front end of the 1980 impala project car that is the trim piece that goes between the bumper and the front end so it got adhesion promoter too and a layer of primer and it'll get one more layer of primer then it's ready when it gets painted so let's head back over and finish up mixing that primer so we can shoot the base coat and the clear coat there's the impala sitting there it's getting a little bit work on the back it's going to get uh some base coat on the front and of course we shot the test panel that's what this thing sitting here is and it's just a little test to see what the color is going to look like and boy it's looking really good i like to shoot a test panel before i shoot the final project just so i can know that everything is on track and as i said in the other video i really screwed up this test panel in this area here where i had some soapy water that <laughs> kind of reacted with the base coat because i didn't have it cleaned enough and i thought i did but it was a little bit of wetness enough to make those wrinkles show up but otherwise the color is looking really good okay let's get back over here to this primer get back to work all right so the primer is all shot as you can see and boy what a fiasco it was so i got all the areas that um, needed the uh, primer where the adhesion promoter was shot over the exposed plastic and there we have it um, but boy i screwed up a couple times i kept having back pressure into the uh, pps paint cup and then it was spilling like primer i've got primer spilled all over the floor where twice I had to go back and try to fix the gun and I forgot to tighten down the uh, fluid nozzle inside the gun so that put back pressure into the paint cup which just makes me feel like a ding ding. I should read my, my notes on everything I forget to do before I shoot paint and that might save me a lot of time. So now here's that other piece that goes on the Impala. It got shot and the first time when I started out I forgot to put the hardener in the primer but fortunately I just hit a few light spots 
and then I went ahead and mixed a whole quart of primer and did it the right way. So today was just a circus of small errors, but fortunately it worked out well and uh, the little disasters were just that. They were just small disasters and I got the thing done. You're gonna screw up, I screw up all the time and it's because I don't paint every day. If I was painting every day, it might be a little bit different, but I'm not. So primer is on, we're looking good. We also shot a little bit of primer on the back of the 1980 Impala. There's the Impala there. And on the back of this car, this is where the design is gonna be. I still gotta do this thing right here. I gotta sand and prep that. I had fixed a crack. It was cracked, that's the front uh, bumper. So I shot some more primer back here on this panel. And then here's the, uh, the back deck, the trunk lid. Looking really good. Okay, so, oh man. Back up here to the front so we can get cleaned up. And I'm ready to go home. All right, that is all I got for one day. That's enough action. This is Carlton Flowers with Color Boss Custom Auto Body Shop. And you know how we do. We just shoot it. See y'all next time.